Have you ever heard someone say that shared mutability is the devil's work? It sounds dramatic, right? But today, we're diving into why that statement holds some serious weight in programming, especially in Java. I totally get it. It can be confusing when you see two pieces of code that seem to achieve the same goal, yet one is labeled as a bad habit. You're not alone in wondering why shared mutability is considered problematic. Let's set the stage. One user recently asked, why is shared mutability bad? They were referring to a piece of code that doubles even values from a list. The first version uses shared mutability, while the second one avoids it. Sound familiar? Let's break it down. So what's the issue with shared mutability? When multiple parts of your program can change the same data, it can lead to unexpected behavior and bugs that are hard to track down. This is especially true in multi-threaded environments. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can help you write cleaner, safer code. To understand why shared mutability is considered a bad habit, let's first look at the first piece of code. The user is modifying a list called double of even directly within a for each loop. When the user adds elements to double of even in the for each loop, it can cause issues if multiple threads access this list simultaneously. This is because the list state can change unexpectedly. In contrast, the second piece of code uses the collect method, which creates a new list without modifying the original one. This approach is safer and avoids the pitfalls of shared mutability. By using the collect method, the user ensures that the original list remains unchanged, which is a key principle in functional programming. This leads to more predictable and maintainable code. In summary, while both pieces of code achieve the same goal, the second approach is preferred because it avoids the risks associated with shared mutability, leading to cleaner and safer code. Fun fact, the term mutable comes from the Latin word mutabilis, which means changeable. In programming, we wanna be careful about what we allow to change. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user points out that the first code example can lead to issues when using parallel processing. If multiple threads try to add elements to the list at the same time, it can cause problems. In contrast, the second example uses the collect method, which safely handles parallel execution by organizing the work and ensuring the final list is built correctly. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always prefer immutability when possible. It can save you from a lot of headaches down the road. And there you have it. Understanding shared mutability can help you write better code. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more programming tips and remember to keep your code clean and safe.